Okay, walkthrough of the place after it's been cleaned up, but before we've uh, fixed up the walls and the cladding and whatnot and the insulation. Front yard, well tidier, still essentially uh, dead. You can see lots of plaster everywhere from where we ripped out the uh, chip rock. There we go, main bedroom. Chip rock all ripped out. It's dried out for about two weeks now. We're about to put the uh, insulation in back in. New insulation and plaster is coming tomorrow to fix up the uh, chip rock and, pla and uh, panelling and whatnot. Main entrance hall. As you see, the whole house basically has the skirts up everywhere. This is the uh, living room. My office. The mud's been cleaned off everything, thank God. Well, it looks a bit of a mess. It's essentially just plaster dust, which cleans up pretty easily. This is our bathroom. We've still got a fair bit of work to do in here. All this panelling here is going to have to be taken out by a professional because it's asbestos. Uh, we're going to rip the bath out for it away. Uh, that little square area there is the wardrobe from the upper office. We're going to rip that out. Basically put in a walk-in shower and a full-size uh, square bathtub in here. <sighs> That's going to take a while. Louise's office, the same as everywhere of course. And uh, you can see the sad state of our possessions. That's pretty much everything we rescued. Desk, various bits of clothing, random bits of DVDs and whatnot, a few computers. Pretty sad state of affairs after all we used to have. A uh, couple of bookshelves, freezer. Some of the stuff you see in here is actually new that we've got stored there. Okay, kitchen. Still sort of using it at the moment. Some of it's been ripped out already. Um, so we've got some office gear doubling up as shelving at the moment. Metal shelving. Uh, all of this is going to have to be ripped out though, including the tiling and whatnot. We're going to be starting from scratch in here. Rear deck, basically good as new, which is cool. Laundry, probably should be pacing the chipboard, but what the fuck, can't give a fuck at the moment. Um, the buildings actually survived pretty well in here, the doors had to be thrown out, never liked them anyway. New dryer, new washing machine. As you can see the deck, this is where we do all our cooking at the moment, that barbecue and those tables there. Uh, we've got a new switchboard there with power points which we use for um, poster and jug and stuff. Garden, looking in much better shape. Some of the grass survived, some of it didn't. <laughs> that's our new soil that's been laid down there and there. We've reseeded it, hopefully it should grow back um, nice and strong, better than ever maybe. Okay, rear jacaranda, uh, which lost half its branches in the storm a couple of weeks ago. Neighbour's yard, fucking untouched. Such is life. And, oh it's quite somewhat depressed tone, it's actually a lot better than it a lot of other places. Once we get the uh, chip rock in the walls replaced and the skirting and so on, which will be done in the following coming week, the place is going to look 100% better. Get an electrician in then to uh, hook the power back up and we should actually be able to move back in. Uh, barring, of course, a totally non-functional kitchen and bathroom.